Good morning, everybody. Got to the truck first thing this morning. It's Monday, February 28th, 2022. Temperature outside is 11 degrees, no, minus 11 degrees Celsius. 12.8, no, 12.2 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a bit of a warmer day today. Looks like we're heading into spring. That's good. This truck is all warmed up. It's still a little dirty, but at least she's not frozen, right? So I'm hoping they'll have my truck out of the shop and ready. It was supposed to be getting safety uh, today or tomorrow. Hopefully they can get it done as soon as possible. But like I said, they're probably going to need to order some parts. And it's probably going to take a little while. I can keep you updated on that. But these videos are a little bit behind because uh, it takes a little while for me to get them all put together. So by the time you watch this, it may have, it's probably already out of the shop and, and ready and parked in here. Or it's safe and sound. Well, it's time for me to start my day. Already got my stuff in there. I'm gonna pull the truck out, pull my pickup inside. Got my trailer waiting for me outside. It's headed to Winkler. Gotta go hook up to the trailer, pull it on to Winkler, and there's a crane waiting there for me. It's gonna be there at 9 a.m. So I'll have to leave here in about a half hour. So I'm guessing that uh, my truck's not gonna be ready today yet, but hopefully they'll have it in the shop. So today when I get this truck back, I'm going to, uh, back here, I'm going to clean out the inside so it's ready for the next driver. Uh, this truck has had a couple of us city drivers in here already because our trucks are uh, sort of on the mend. And uh, have been. they all need a safety all at the same time. So uh, <laughs> while one truck goes in, one guy's in here, and then my truck goes in and I'm in here. And uh, it's gotten a little, it's not too dirty, it's just a little dusty. I'm just going to, you know do the finishing touches on the detailing so that when I get out of it, whoever's put into the truck has a clean truck to jump into. You cycled through. Oh, beautiful. And look at that. Because she was parked inside in the warmth, didn't lose any air. Oh, trucks work so much better. And the maintenance goes down so much if you just have a warm spot to keep them. We'll talk about this more in the future, but I am really excited to have a nice workspace. It's gonna be nice. Not one issue this morning. For the first time in who knows how long, we didn't have one winter-related issue this morning. Nothing frozen, everything's working great. Don't need to run the truck for half an hour to warm it up. Even longer than that on the coldest days, you run for an hour and it's still not warmed up. That was a great investment. So on the way to Winkler, we got this load behind us that we picked up on Friday. We're about nine feet wide, so we're a little bit oversized. Not too much. Just enough to need flags and signs. We have a crane, like I was telling you before, that's going to be in Winkler waiting for us. They're gonna unload these big, big pieces with cranes. However they figure they're gonna do that. That's there, that's up to them. Should be interesting though. 9 o'clock, I'm guessing I'll be out of there by before noon for sure. Unless if, you know, you never know. It, things get... Things, this is trucking, you know? Things get backed up very quickly. Maybe they'll have... Uh, hopefully they don't have a problem starting the crane there. Because it's probably even parked outside. And then... Uh, hopefully everything's ready. But yeah, I'm, I'm assuming I should be out of there by noon. I think that's a safe assumption. And then after that, I'll head back empty to our yard near Winnipeg and see what else they got for me. I'm sure I'll have another load to do this afternoon yet. Hey, here's another one of our guys coming in here. Look at that. Don't cut me off, buddy. Don't cut me off, buddy. You see me coming. You see, there he is. Yeah, he sees me. <laughs> That's one of our guys. That's Brian. That's my old Kenworth that I used to drive, remember, like 10 years ago? He ended up buying it. It's still trucking. That's a nice truck, he's done a lot of work to it. Uh, it looks a lot nicer than when I had it even. So we're delivering all this product into this place here. Got all my straps and equipment off of it. Just got the flags hanging off the side of the trailer there. They're not in the way. 
but uh, he's gonna unload me right there and I'll be off shouldn't take too long Empty trailer behind me, and we've got to sneak out the way we came in down these residential streets. They've cleared a way for me to make my wide turn here. It's another one of those deliveries that would usually, uh, these streets usually would have no trucks on them, but when you're making a delivery, you get special exception. And we don't want to run over their recycling can there. Look at that, perfect. Beautiful. Didn't even touch the snow banks or the curbs. So I'm gonna go find a safe place to park and then I'm gonna call in and say, hey, I'm empty, what's next boss? Hopefully no one's gonna try to come and turn down this road here right now, because I'm gonna need this whole road to get around here. Car coming from there, I'll wait. I could have gone, but I'm way too nice. Way too nice, I always wait for everybody. Don't want to inconvenience anybody, I know. This guy, there you go. Let's keep as close to the left here as we can. Oh, lots of room, lots of room. Didn't even need to take it that wide. Better to take it too wide than too short. All right, this is Winkler, Manitoba. It's a very nice city. If I had a uh, reason to live out here, like if my career took me to this city, I wouldn't mind living here at all. This would just be a little bit too far away from our yard for me to live here. This is about an hour and a half away from our yard. And Steinbach is only about a half hour. So it's an hour further out, but same group of people that settled Steinbach and Winkler were the the Mennonites from uh, the Netherlands and Germany. And other places too. There's... Nowadays there's people from every corner of the globe here. It's a, it's a beautiful place to live for anybody. Very safe communities here too. Virtually no crime very nice like you could leave your doors open here and pfft, nothing would happen I don't recommend it we lock our doors anyway but yeah, it's a nice place to live good money to be made out here this is a whole new development coming up here very nice I'd love to have a little tractor like that when we when we build our house just to clear snow and like move stuff around the yard a little cab on it and everything a little heater in there that'd be awesome <coughs> excuse me look at this we got a roundabout coming up here winkler i was just singing your praises and then you go and throw one of these at me 
Honestly, and they, they didn't make this one very big either. Because you wouldn't have trucks my size usually rolling through here. So we want to go straight. I always, I don't like these things. I, I really don't like them. Some people really like them. I really don't. Okay, we're going to go like this. Cut her wide that way. Now we're going to cut her wide this way. I'm going to cut her wide this way. I'm going to go back this way. Cut her around there. Go right in here. Going to pull it right through here. Just like that. Drag it over there. Boom. We made it. Alive. Through a roundabout. Hate those things. I'm coming into the southwest side of Winnipeg in St. Norbert right now. I have a new load that needs to be put onto this trailer. I gotta pick it up on the east side of Winnipeg, so I gotta go around once we hit the perimeter here and make my way over to uh, Pandora Avenue, which is way on the east side of Transcona. This is... Well, thank you. No one asked, but I appreciate that. Okay, you wanna... You want me to stop? I get it. I get it. The roads are doing really well today. We're finally getting some warmer spring-ish weather. By that, I mean the roads are terribly messy. We're going through lots of washer fluid, but that's okay. Because it's, uh, it's the pain we have to go through to get from winter into summer. We have to go through this messy period. But before you know it, all of this terrible evil white stuff here, all of this evil snow will be gone. And all we'll be left with is the ugly dirt. <laughs> Life in Winnipeg. It's always something, you know? But we do have a solid two weeks of awesome summer weather coming. So, I mean, that's probably, uh, you know, end of July, early August. We're going to have a couple of weeks of summer and it's going to be great to make sure we get to the beach at least once before next winter. Look at this building. I've never seen this building here before. Is that new? What a weird looking building. When did that come up? Huh? Sneaky. This whole area here, when I was a kid, like when I got my, not even a kid, when I got my driver's license, when I was 16 and I would drive through here all the time, none of these apartment buildings were here. It was just a small little community. This is like a French part of uh, Winnipeg, Saint Norbert, or Saint Nobert, I think is how they pronounce it. Saint Nobert. It's a very old area. A lot of history here. And it's just been growing like crazy in the past decade. I mean, good for them, I guess, right? Good for them. So I'll talk to you guys when we get over to our shipper. As far as I know, uh, the load is just being brought back to the yard today, but it needs to go to Lac de Bonnie tomorrow in eastern Manitoba. So I might be delivering it. I kind of hope I am. I wouldn't mind just to stay on it. It's just easier that way. Oh, look at that pickup over there cutting that guy off. Oh boy, always an adventure every day. Apparently the load is going to be pretty heavy. I think it's a load of cement or concrete products. I'm not too sure yet. I'm just going off the information that was sent to me. I'll find out when I get there. Kind of hoping that they have my truck in the shop right now getting safety. But I understand they're very busy, so... I don't mind driving to Western Star for a couple of days yet. Okay guys, here I come. Got my... Please let me in signal flashing. You're not letting me in. You're not letting me in. Okay, everybody's letting me in. Kind souls. Thank you very much. I am bigger than you, so it is in your best interest to move over and let me in. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You know, they are not they're not required to move over. I've heard people say before that, you know, it is law that you have to move over for merging vehicles. That's not actually true. It's a courtesy. You should move over. But according to the law, you have the right of way because you are already on the highway. People merging onto the highway are merging with you. You're not merging with them. So legally, you don't have to move over, but it is definitely the right thing to do if there's no one beside you on the left. Move over, make it easier for them. I mean, help your fellow citizens out. You 
you ready? Are they ready? Boys! Hey, boys! 